Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Alan Anthony from Phone Tech at Work, and today we're looking at a different type of device that I've never had on the channel. This is from the company New Mobile, and this is the R1. So let's start the video and show you what I'm talking about. Pop. All right, guys, so here we're taking a look at a real rugged type phone. Now, at the same time, it is a budget phone, so it's 150 bucks, and you can actually pick this up on Amazon, eBay, or on the new mobile website. But the thing about this phone is that it's more for the rugged type of person, or if you have kids that, you know, saying, always break their phones, this is definitely the type of phone that you should be getting. Um, it's almost like the cat phone that's out right now that um, a lot of companies use when they work those jobs where you have to climb up high or if you were like a painter or something and you need something that you won't really care about this phone actually could do a whole bunch of stuff so it is from the company new mobile and big shout out to them for actually sending this out to me so let's just pop this baby open and see what it looks like got a little mickey on deck today all right see where we go here so let's go to the side right here one here all right all right, I was just watching Tech Rights video of this. Now, I've had, had this for a couple of days, but I haven't had the chance to actually uh, review it or whatnot. So, a little Mickey letting me down today. All right, there you go. Pop this baby out. Okay, so here's the box itself. If you guys are interested in what the box looks like, we have the R1 in front, and it can actually go deep down into water and actually take pictures too at the same time. So also here's another thing about this phone is that it's able to withstand 140 degrees Fahrenheit, meaning that it could be the hottest of days, 140 degrees, which I highly doubt that you're really going to be in unless you live in a volcano or something, or it can actually withstand negative 22 degrees Fahrenheit as well. And it does actually work with a camera inside the water. So you want to take some pictures, you could definitely do that. But the only problem is that the picture quality probably isn't that great because you have a two megapixel in the front camera and eight megapixel in the rear camera. So let's just see exactly what this says so on the back you do have some information here if you guys want to pause this and read it for yourself you definitely can 5 inch HD IPS display 1.5 gigahertz quad core processor 8 megapixels in the rear 2 megapixels in the front dual sim standby 2 gigabytes of RAM and 16 gigabytes of internal memory with a 4000 milliamp battery so this thing does have a 720p display but that 4000 milliamp battery should make justice with the battery life so it's a little bit hefty i could definitely see that from right off the bat but as far as what you get in the box you get that right there Let's see if we can focus in all right pop this out and you have your sim ejection tool right on the back of this and they're thankful that you picked up their phone and it is in english and in spanish so please tell your friends get started with your r1 right over here and this is a micro USB cable, so you don't have Type-C, which kind of sucks, but at least you have a nice, decent cable size. And as far as the power brick, let's see what this is clocked in at. So you have a new mobile power brick, and it's clocked in at 0 0.3 amps. So it's not fast charging, but 4,000 milliamps. Let's see exactly what happens. So, so it's time to check out the phone. So here's the phone itself. Let's take it out of the plastic. This thing is pretty heavy. So I haven't really had a rugged phone in a very long time. I actually never even had an active phone either. Uh, I'm trying to remember if I had any one. I think the last phone that I had that was pretty rugged was um, probably like a Sidekick or, or uh, not a Sidekick, a Blackberry or whatnot. Because those phones were pretty rugged or the old school Nokia phones. So as you can see, we do have a logo right there in the bottom for IP68 H2O. So you can actually submerge this pretty good. So here's what it says on the screen protector itself. It does have the specs and whatnot that I did say earlier before. So let's just pop this off. And you do have a built-in screen protector, which is pretty dope. You got a whole bunch of rigid lines right here. You got one on each corner, which is pretty cool. So with this, you won't really need a case at all because the case is pretty much the phone. And I'm definitely digging the look of it. It's a little bit heavy. It's almost like an old school phone. It's really, really cool. Um, it's almost like a scanner or almost like a radio or something like that. But the buttons are pretty tactile. They're very clicky as well. 
you do have a little tab here that's for your headphone jack so the headphone jack is on deck and is on the top and you're able to close it in case you want to submerge the phone into water deep down and you do have another little flap as i call it for the micro usb just like that and this is almost like a case so let's see if they if there's any lip action on this so there's no lip action but this thing looks pretty rugged so let's just power this baby on so if you guys are interested in picking this up, I will have the link down below. I will test that out and I will have a little short review. And it does actually take a micro SD card. So if you wanna expand the phone, you definitely could do that because it only comes with 16 gigabytes of internal storage and it's probably only gonna be about 11 or 12. But uh, we could definitely see what it is. So if you guys wanna pick this up, the link will be down below. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And follow Phone Tech at Work for more videos like this of the new mobile R1 and more tech to come. Peace and love, I'll see you guys in the next video. And it does have a camera button too. So there's camera, power, volume up and down. And screws too as well. This is a really, really cool phone. And the speakers in the back. Peace and love, I'll see you guys in the next video.